Hi, this is Sean. Welcome to the first video in our series on how to upload photos to your Einstein Photo Gallery. First log in using the email and password you were given. Once logged in, you can change your email and password by clicking on the Users tab, and then click on your name. You can also create additional users by clicking on New User at the top of this left column. Admin means they can create additional users. There are three main pages in the Einstein Gallery, Categories and Cases, Tags, and Users. Tags is for internal use only, so most of your work is going to be done here in Categories and Cases. If you don't have any categories created yet, you'll need to click on New Category here at the top of this left column to create your first one. Notice as you use the software that this option is going to change depending on where you're at in the software. You can pick a category from the drop down box or type it into this blank spot below and click Create. Once inside your category, you get the option of adding custom fields. A custom field is a data point like age or gender. This allows for your potential patients to organize the gallery based on this criteria. It takes a little more setup initially, but it get, provides a better user experience. Now that we've created our first category, we're going to create our first case. And to do that, I click on New Case at the top of this left column. It auto-numbers it, Case 1, for you and provides a description box. Now the description box is like the content of your web page. Because each case that you add to your gallery adds a page to your website, the description becomes that content that Google looks for, as well as providing interesting information about that case to a potential patient. Down below are some SEO elements. And for those of you who might not know, SEO is Search Engine Optimization. It's basically GPS for your website. You get the option of editing this stuff that helps your gallery page get found under the search engines, but you don't have to. You can just upload your pictures and have a basic gallery, but if you want to take it to that next level and have your gallery page drive traffic to your website, then it's a good idea to fill this stuff out. Page title and meta description are standard parts of every web page, and Google scans these areas to find out what that page is about. Let's take a look at a search term in Google and that search result. So here this first part of the search result is the page title. And we can see it here at the top of the page. And people ignore this once they get onto the page because there's nothing to click on up there, but Google does scan this for a relevancy to key term. The other part of the search result is the meta description, a one or two sentence introduction to the web page, but Google also scans this area for relevancy to key term. Notice how the key terms are bold in both the page title and the meta description. A good page title has three important pieces of information. That is, who you are, where you are, and what you do. We see that the name of this practice is the Dental Associates of New England, that they're in Boston, Massachusetts, and that they perform cosmetic dentistry. Now you can add extra information and they don't have to be in this particular order, but it's important that you have all those three, who you are, where you are, and what you do in your page title if you want that page to get picked up by the search engines. The other part of this search result is called the meta description. It's a one or two sentence introduction to the website. But Google also scans this area for relevancy to key term. And then it bolds it for you. Notice how Boston Cosmetic and Dentistry are bolded in both the page title and the meta description. Now I used to think that this one or two sentence introduction came from the first paragraph on the web page. Not so. It's actually a piece of the code of the page called meta description. And we give you the ability to edit that in the gallery. 
Now that you have well-constructed page titles and meta descriptions, click the Create button. And then click on New Image Set. An image set is a before and an after. Then click on Add a New Image. You can also click on New Image up here at the top of the left column. Either way, it does the same thing. Then browse your computer for that image. And a nice caption. And click Create. This is going to upload the photo to the server. And there it is, our first implant photo. Now upload the after. And create. There's our first image set. If we accidentally uploaded the after before the before, we could switch the arrangement with these sort arrows. But this is good to go. So I'm going to put a check mark in the active box and scroll down. Tags is for internal use. Please leave that blank. Thumbnails gives you the ability to adjust the size of the thumbnails. The, the software does this all for you though in the different stages that the pictures are presented to the potential patient. So I would just leave all of this standard, scroll down and click update. So here we're looking at our first image set. If I wanted to go back into that image set and edit it for any reason, I could click Edit under Options here to the right, or I could click on the photos, and they take us back into that case. I see that the check mark is in the active box. This is important. This determines whether or not the case is live on the gallery, but we're good to go. So I can go back to case one image sets. We're good to go here, so I can go back to my implant cases, if I wanted to create a new implant case, I would click New Case here. Or if I wanted to create a new category and continue uploading photos, I can click back to Categories. Now let's check our work on the final product by clicking on View under Options.